Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Tony here talking more about Absalom and, uh, and his adventure with David. So ambition. Ambition is an admirable, an admirable asset, you know, until it's not. And it's not admirable when we try to take over a position that we're not qualified for or that God has not prepared us for. In verses 2 through 6 of 2 Samuel 15, it shows how Absalom is trying to undermine David as king, even though he has not been appointed by God to be the king. Let's read it, if you would. In verse 2 of chapter 15, it says, And Absalom used to rise early and stand beside the way of the gate. And when any man had a dispute to come before the king for judgment, Absalom would call him and say, From what city are you? And when he said, your servant is of such and such a, a tribe in Israel, Absalom would say to him, see, your claims are good and right, but there is no man designated by the king to hear you. Then Absalom would say, oh, that I were judge in the land. Then every man with a dispute or, or cause might come to me, and I would give him justice. And whenever a man came near to pay a homage to him, he would put out his hand and take hold of him and kiss him. This Absalom, thus Absalom did to all of Israel who came to be king for, or came to the king for judgment. So Absalom stole the hearts of the men of Israel. Uh, Absalom's ambition uh, was to take over the kingdom, and this this, ver this set of verses shows how Absalom stole the hearts of the men of Israel. Absalom gives instruction later on through 15, chapters 15 and 16 for all the men of Israel to gather in Jerusalem. He also calls for David's counselor, Hithophel, to come and join him. David learns about Absalom's plot and flees Jerusalem and sends Hushai to give a different counsel to Absalom as David had ordered. Let's read, verses, or read chapter 17, verses 5 through 14. Ah, here it is. Okay. Then Absalom said, call Hushai the archite also and let us hear what he has to say. And when Hushai came to Absalom, Absalom said to him, this, th Thus has Ahithophel spoken. Shall we do as he says? If not, you speak. Then Hushai said to Absalom, This time the counsel of Ahithophel is, that Ahithophel has given is not good. Hushai said, You know that your father and his men are, are mighty men and that they are enraged, like a bear robbed of her cubs in the field. Besides, your father is expert in war. He will not spend the night with the people. Behold, even now he has hidden himself in one of the pits or in some other place. As soon as some of the people fall at the first attack, whoever hears it will say, there has been a slaughter among the people who, Absalom, who follow Absalom. Then even the valiant men, whose heart is like the heart of a lion, will utterly melt with fear. For all Israel knows that your father is a mighty man and that those who are with him are valiant men. But my counsel is that all Israel be gathered to you from Dan to Beersheba as the sand by the sea for the multitude, and that you go to battle in person. So we shall come upon him in some place where he is to be found, and we shall light upon him and, and as the dew falls on the ground. And of him and all the men with him, not one will be left. If he withdraws into a city, then all Israel will bring ropes to that city, and we shall drag it into the valley, and until not even a pebble is to be found there. And Absalom and all the men of Israel said, The counsel of Hushai the Archite is better than that counsel of Ahithophel. So the Lord had or for the Lord had ordained to defeat the good counsel of Ahithophel, so that the Lord might bring harm upon Absalom. So Absalom... Um, is trying to take over the kingdom. He listens to Ahithophel and then he listens to Hushai, who has been turned by David because he's David's counselor. When, when uh, Ahithophel learns that his counsel was not followed, he goes out and hangs himself. So ambition, the curse of ungodly ambition is disaster. The ambition that we need to have is to seek and do God's will. He'll show us if we read his word and follow it, because if we read and apply God's word, he will change our lives. 
Calvary, I'm praying for you that you have a great day and that you're reading and applying God's word.